During this presentation, I'm going to give you a quick introduction to Mambo Studio. Mambo Studio is a high-speed video analysis tool and one small component of the Match Analysis service. Let's start with a very simple query. Let's say we wanted to show every time Henri touches the ball. We're going to click on Henri, we're going to click on Create Movie, and then I'm going to pause the video for a second. What just happened when I click Create Movie is that Mambo Studio pulled up every touch by Henri. In this case, 17 touches. Let's watch the video. Each clip contains two seconds of video on either side of Henri's touch. We can change this setting easily if we'd like to see more or less video. 505 goals scored in the Classico, but we're still awaiting. But this is just the beginning. We can do far more complex queries easily. For example, let's go in and select every time Henri touched the ball in the opponent's penalty area. Henri is already selected, so we simply add the region, press Create Movie again. Now, as you can see, we're watching touches by Henri in the opponent's penalty area. Xavi, is it far enough? Henri to the middle, and there was. Let's watch every time Henri lost the ball on the pass. Henri is already selected. We simply select loss on the pass, create the movie again, and once again we're watching Henri, except this time when he loses the ball on the pass. It's a fantastic tool for sitting down with players, reviewing a game, and letting them see what you are seeing from the sideline. And it's incredibly easy to use. Both of them seem at top form. You'd be hard pressed to say they were injured at all. But we're just getting started. Let's take a look at all the shots taken by Barcelona. We're going to select shots off goal, shots on goal, and goals. We press create movie, and instantly we're watching the non nine shots taken by Barcelona during the match. It's Alves. Oh! It's there, and it's Messi denied by Casillas from point blank range. Now, what if we wanted to actually show the development of the shots beginning when the ball was won? All we have to do is select Show Entire Possession and run the query again. We're now watching the exact same nine shots, Can't but now yourself. we can see how they okay, developed. Messi. The antithesis to his name is Lionel Messi. PK. A clever ball by Ibrahimovic going two steps back to go one forward, and this is where it leads to. Remember, Barcelona is playing down a man. It's Abidal! Mambo Studio, unlike most tagging systems, allows sequence queries, which allows you to find when one event leads to another for example, a pass between two players. Let's say we wanted to show every time Iniesta pass to Messi. We select Iniesta, we add a pass, and then we select Messi. Let's do that one more time. First we select Iniesta, this button adds a pass, so Iniesta passes to, then we select Messi. We are now watching every point in the match when Iniesta combined with Messi. Messi against Ramos. Oh, superb. Now we don't have to do sequences simply by selecting players. We can do them tactically by selecting positions. This turns out to be very powerful. For example, let's say we wanted to show every time one of our defenders passed the ball to one of our forwards. We simply select all of the defenders, add a pass, and then select the forwards. We click Create Movie, and what you'll see is that each time the ball begins in the back and is passed to one of the front runners. We can also do something more tactical. Let's say we wanted to show every time the team changed the point of attack. If we wanted to show, for example, every time the ball was played from the left wing to the right wing, we simply select the left wing, we select add a pass, and then we select the right wing, and finally press create movie. 
It's really that simple. We now see that the ball is played directly from the left wing to the right wing in one pass. But Mambo Studio also allows us to show indirect sequences involving multiple passes. If we change the arrow between the players from a straight line to a dotted line, we now can watch every time Barcelona change the point of attack, no matter how many passes were required. You can see in this play that the ball passes through a central player to get to the right wing. Just to show you the full power of the system, let me just show you one more very complex query. For example, let's say we wanted to see every time we won the ball by one of our defenders, we played the ball through a wide position, and that led to a shot on goal. Pretty complex. But it's very easy to construct in Mambo Studio. We're going to select balls won by one of our defenders. We then want the ball played to a wide position. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a pass, and then we'll select wide positions on the field. Finally, we want the whole possession to result in a shot. So we're going to go ahead and select shots on goal, shots off goal, and goals. Now we'll change the arrows to dotted arrows to allow any number of passes between each of these events. We click Create Movie, and let's watch. Okay, the ball was won by one of our defenders. Next, the ball needs to go to a wide position. It actually does that twice, once here. This is like Hagler Hearns. And again on the far side. And then this possession needs to end with a shot, which it does. Imagine doing what we just did in any traditional editing system. We performed a day's worth of analysis in about six minutes, and as you just saw, Mambo Studio is incredibly easy to work with.